A2X has great features available for splitting your payout or settlement sales data in different ways. One of which is the product type grouping feature. Product type grouping in A2X allows you to group many different SKUs into a single sales line for special accounting or tax treatment. In our general example, we have a lot of different SKUs. We don't want to see just a single sales line in each entry, but we also don't want to see a sales line per SKU. So we have three different product type groups we would like to see a sales line for. The first is our heavy duty products, the second our normal duty products, and the third being our general products. We'd like to be able to see the sales for these three groups separated out in the entries A2X generates using the product type grouping feature. The first step is to set up your product type groups. To do this, we'll click settings and then click product types. We need to enter a product type group name and then we also need to enter in the applicable SKUs for that product type group. The first group we are adding is the heavy duty products. This will also be the name of our product type group. We now need to enter either the individual SKUs separated by a comma into the next box, or if all of our SKUs follow a beginning pattern, we could use a regular expression. All of our heavy duty product SKUs begin with HRT. So for this product type group, we can use the regular expression as shown. And when we click add product type, you'll see the group gets added to the list above. Our next product type group is for our normal duty products. The SKUs for this group also follow a regular expression and they all begin with the letters N-A-E. We'll enter in the product type group name, which is normal duty products, and then add the SKU regular expression as shown. Don't forget to click add product type. You will see we now have the two groups set up one for our heavy duty products and another for our normal duty products. We also have a third group we'd like to create and this one's going to be for our general products. In our case, we'd like to see all of our different products each assigned to a specific product type group. For our general products, we have a mixture of SKUs so we can't use the regular expression. In this case, we've created the third group called general products and this group contains all of our remaining SKUs separated by comma. What we also have here is the option to put a hold flag on settlements or payouts that contain SKUs that aren't yet assigned to a product type group. This means you can easily see if a new SKU has come into your account that needs to be added to one of your product type groups. To enable this, select the checkbox and click apply change. We've now created our product type groups and enabled the hold flag option. We can always come back in and edit our groups if ever we need to make changes. The next step is to move to the invoice settings page and enable the product type grouping feature. To do this, we select the group by product type option and lastly, click update invoice settings. As per the note you see on this page, Changes to the invoice settings don't apply retrospectively. For the changes to be applied to settlements or payouts that A2X has already generated, they need to be refreshed. To do this, we click the orange word refresh beside each of the settlements in the account. If we now click accounts and taxes at the top of the page and then scroll to the product sales category and expand the category by clicking the orange plus symbol, we see our product type groups are listed there, so we could now assign either separate sales accounts or even separate tax rates if required. If we go back to our home page now, we see that we have a settlement with the on hold flag. This means that there is a SKU in this settlement that isn't assigned to a product type group. If we click review on the settlement, we can see a warning message in red at the top and we can click the link to view the products and their grouping for this settlement. The product type preview page will show you what SKUs in this settlement are not currently part of a product type group. From here we can copy the SKU and then head over to the product type groups page and add the SKU into the applicable group. Finally, head back to the home page and click refresh again on the settlement with the on hold flag. You'll see the on hold flag disappears 
meaning all entries now have complete product type grouping.